Hello and welcome, my name is Neil Larson. this is episode 85 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio with Bob's Mods and Angel's Mods and Uranium Power. What we're looking at here is uh, the Uranium Power part of the of the mod. I think that was actually way better to do it like that. Ugh, unfortunately I missed the target there. What? It sucks. <laughs> that was definitely not what I wanted. Yeah, this is getting a bit strange. I had like, uh, I wanted to create this, so I've now created a few. Here. Basically, I wanna make sure that these can actually go somewhere and meet up without getting harassed by the fact that it's on the road. That means I think the road should start. Probably not be that big. I think the road should start here. It should be the upper edge and this should be the lower edge. But I don't have any. Um, I have started production of it, but it's not there yet. So these two will now meet at this random location. With some crude oil. I need to put this in a uh, I'll just use these. At this point, I need to put it into a barrel. And that's down here. That's not what we do. We need a heavy pump. Let's make a heavy pump then. Keep forgetting that. Those are much, much better tool for for this. Obviously, you will be putting this in an empty barrel. Our pole should be something we can deal with. Here, you will be getting your f from this requested chest, and this requested chest will then request some empty barrels. Let's make it a hundred. But if that's not good enough, then because I'm not really sure that they're there, then I'm going to make the heavy barrels. Make the heavy barrels. here by requesting I can actually request from the same so I'll just grab this one this is the brilliant part about the inserters in Bob's Bob's mod that I can actually twist it so now it's actually grabbing from if you see this one it's grabbing from the same that it's putting it back to because this one can then request also request a bit of steel there's plenty of room in this this one this one and then I'll create it but it'll only create it until the logistics no I'm not until the logistics network because that's not gonna work I actually should do it as a wire condition didn't I have some green wire back then uh, what don't I need right now these ones let's see if I, I should have a green wire just a single green wire Stop this when Yeah, and I know this is not gonna work. I really need a green wire. Otherwise, it's not gonna work Because if somewhere else in the logistics network we have a hundred that this will not stop But it will not work. Okay, and you are getting what is your problem? Ah, you've put them in there. Let's actually make it a bit more aggressive on this one and just say shove it into this one, which will then get rid of it. So this is just a matter of making sure that this one just contributes to the to the family. And now we're getting up here to our fun and games with. Uh, not a lot you get for 200 but it should be enough to get uh, get this going and I do have everything we'll start with the reactor which should be 
place there's something yes we'll place it there yes yes it's good copy of this one I will do exactly the same build as below unfortunately it's not possible for me to uh, to build it with with robots doesn't seem to work I wish you could just click these and then I would uh, So every time I get 200, I'll just slap down there. Next one is this one. We'll do the top part first, right? Is it working? We don't know. I don't know. We'll then add... Seems to work. I will put this into this corner. So put this in here. Sounds very reasonable. Now the next part I want to do is pressurize this one. And I need to pressurize it with water, obviously. But I also want to make sure that I don't Far out, that's gonna be well, it doesn't matter since I'm coming from the top side this time around. I'll do it like this. good so far but it's not drawing anything out what I need to do is just basically just get in here is it producing now yes we are getting a tiny bit very slow but it works is actually I will draw this one because I need to remove it anyway 200 209 19 yes I'll have to remove this line and I have to remove this line so once I get steam coming in I don't know if I can put this uh, cyclotron thing on yet. Can I? Doesn't do anything. Something working here? This is the hot leg that got really cold suddenly or that decreased by a lot is it trying to generate steam no not just yet oh it decreases it's up to five ah right okay okay so this won't work because there's nothing in it Finally, now it's getting some temperature. Perfect. And now I believe I can put this on. I can't believe that I forget the nuclear power part. Okay, get the power up. I believe that when it is blinking, yes, I need when it gets to 350, then it can start working. Yeah, it's, it's making it, it's making steam. 
cool. How much is that? Not enough. But this one keeps going. Now this one is also producing. This one counts to 3000. Then I disconnect the water input because I have enough steam. I think I'm, I'm starting to learn how it works. I don't understand why this keeps blinking. Looks good. Looks very reasonable. Got tons of power in here. Two point three, two point four, five, six. Come on. Then I don't believe it can get any further. I will then remove this line. And this one is back up. This one is not really where it should be. And these ones are not connected. Where do we have the lights in this one? Those look like good places to put lights. This part would be a good place as well. And there, light. How much are we at? We are at seven or eight hundred. Just need to get a bit higher. Okay, in the meantime, I think we should get the car and get the last bit of the nuclear power plant we're missing. I have this thing and that thing, but I'm missing. No sulfuric acid, I don't like that. Hope it's not getting corrupted by. Okay, it's the one with the power thing to the right. Must be this one. That's close. I'm gonna look at the sulfuric acid afterwards if I remember or I don't get distracted by, you know, like anything. It's very dark here. We put lights on as we build. Don't put lights on if there's nothing to show. What are you at? You're at 1k. Remove. We now remove this part. And it's time to put on the other one, the other side. This will not need to be pressurized as I understand it. We'll also put this one on here. Put the normal power cables in. Ah, I do have an extra power cable there. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice place. Nice little interesting place to put it. First thing we will do is we will get water on this one. Of course this will be a delicate endeavor. I will be, I'll be needing this one. Here. That should not be an issue. Do we have water? Yes quickly filling up. That one is also still filling up. Yes, still full. Now we need to fill up this with steam. Good. That goes up to 3000 superheated steam and then we're good to go. I don't understand why this one keeps blinking. Looking good. What are these? They are they're not full. Not full these and not full. Good. Hey, where the hell did my steam go? What the hell? I was producing steam. What? Now oh, that's being strange again. There's water in there, is that a problem? This is so strange. Alright, let's look at the hot leg. 500? What's the hot leg here? Please, it's not much. Ah, right, of course, and I need this cyclotron. Okay, 
But I think this is where I end. Thank you very much for joining. See you next time.